Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see the vertical order traversal of a binary tree problem which is from lead code August challenge and this is from day 7. So let us first see the problem statement and then we will look at the examples. Given a binary tree, return the vertical order traversal of its node values. For each node at position x, y, its left and right children respectively will be at positions x minus 1, y minus 1 and x plus 1, y minus 1. Running a vertical line from x equals minus infinity to x equals plus infinity. Whenever the vertical line touches some nodes, we report the values of the nodes in order from top to bottom, that is in decreasing y coordinates. If two nodes have the same position, then the value of the node that is reported first is the value that is smaller. So this point is very important. Return a list of non-empty reports in order of x coordinate and every report will have a list of values of nodes. Let us now uh, look at how to find the vertical order traversal. So uh, when you are given a tree, let's say this is a binary tree, then how do we find the vertical order? Well the first step is that every vertical line can be assumed to have a number. So I will assume that the vertical line passing through this root node will be having value 0 and all the vertical lines to the left of this root node vertical line will have negative values and all the vertical lines to the right of this root node vertical line will be having positive values so these all will be negative and these all will be positive so i have assigned this uh, vertical line going through root node as zero so uh, we need to store the elements having the same vertical number in a list so this is how we can find the vertical order traversal now let us apply simple DFS that is recursion and find out what will be the vertical order. So in this case when we are at root then our vertical value will be 0 because this is at line number 0. So since we see this node 1 at vertical line number 0 so we will take a vector or a map and this will basically be a map of list. So this is a map and every map value will be having list okay so this list will be storing all those nodes who are falling in the given key vertical line so this minus 2 represents that this is under vertical line number minus 2 so vertical line number minus 2 will only be having node 4 so let us see how this is filled now let us start with this root node so this is 1 and this is having a vertical line number 0 so we will go to map 0 value and then we will insert 1 now we will make the left call and we will also make the right call. So when we make the left call then this vertical line number will be decreased by 1. So here it will be minus 1 because we had already assumed that when we make a left call the values will be negative and on the right call it will be positive. So this is minus 1 and now this 2 is coming and so this 2 will be pushed in vertical line number minus 1. So we will go to key number minus 1 and we will push 2. Now again we will make the left call as well as right call. So if we subtract 1 from this minus 1 it will be minus 2. So 4 will fall in minus 2. So you can see that 4 is pushed in minus 2 key. Now there are no further calls so we will backtrack to this node 2 and again we will go back to this 5. So 5 was called and now 5 is falling under minus 1 plus 1. So this will fall under value 0 because whenever we make a right call then we will add one value to whatever was present as its root node value. So now this is falling under 0. So you can see that 5 is pushed after 1 in this key 0. Okay. Now again we will backtrack to 2. Again we will backtrack to 1. And we had made a call to the right hand side. So this will be having a vertical line number 1 which is 0 plus 1 equals 1. Now this 3 will be pushed uh, in key number 1. So 3 is pushed here. Now again there is only a left child so we will make a left call with 1 minus 1 here it will be having value 0. So now this node 6 is having value 0 this 6 will be pushed and you can see that this 6 is pushed in at the end of the list for this key 0. So this will be our final vertical order traversal. So the vertical order traversal can be printed as 4, 2, 1, 5, 7 and this 3. I hope you understood how this can be done by using simple recursion. But there is a problem. You cannot apply just simple DFS in order to solve this problem. There are some more constraints as well. So let us look at the problem. Now this is our given tree 
and let's try to apply the same approach which we had done earlier and see what is the problem now we will start from this root node which is one now we had assumed that uh, the whatever vertical line passes through this root node will be having value zero so this one will be pushed at this key zero okay so this is our map and every map key will be pointing to a list this will be the list of nodes now from one we will be making call to the left hand side and this will be having value 0 minus 1 equals minus 1 now 2 will be pushed at key minus 1 again you will make a right call so here value will be minus 1 plus 1 so here it will be 0 now 7 will be pushed okay and now we will make a left call to 4 and here value will be 0 minus 1 this will be minus 1 so 4 will be pushed at minus 1 now there are no further calls to be made we will backtrack to 7 from 7 we will make a call to 5 so 5 will be having value 0 plus 1 here it is vertical line number 1 so 5 will be pushed here now we will again make a left call to 8 and this will have vertical line number 0 1 minus 1 so 8 will be pushed here okay and now we will again backtrack to 5 again backtrack to 7 backtrack to 2 backtrack to 1 now from 1 we will make the right call so this will be having value 0 plus 1 this is line number 1 so 6 will be pushed at this part now we will again make a left call to 3 and 3 will be having value 1 minus 1 0 so uh, this 3 will be pushed here okay and again we will backtrack to 6 backtrack to 1 so now we have traversed each and every node in our DFS order and this will be our final output according to our previous method but in this problem our goal is to print on the basis of x comma y coordinate level wise so we just don't require to print it vertical order but we also need to take care of the horizontal ordering that is x coordinates as well so in this problem as you can see we need to print the uh, elements in vertical order as well as maintaining the level order traversals so what should be the answer in this case if you look at the first line that is this line number minus 1 then the answer should be 2 and 4 so this answer is correct now if you look at this line number 0 then what should be the answer it should be 1 after that 7 and 3 and after that 8 should come but in this case you can see that answer is 1 7 8 and 3 in this case 3 is at the same level of 7 so 3 should be printed together with 7 and 8 should be printed afterwards after printing both this 7 and 3 but in this case what we are doing we are printing 7 and then 8 and then 3 so this should not be the order order should be 7 3 and 8 okay so this is according to this rule number 1 that is we need to take care of x comma y coordinate now the second goal says that if two nodes have the same x comma y coordinate then print in sorted order so in this case uh, one example is this node 7 and 3 so even after printing the correct result after following this first goal we should also take care of the elements present at the same x comma y coordinate so in this case if you can see this is row number 0 this is row number 1 this is row number 2 this is row number 3 row number 4 now what is the coordinate for this 7 this 7 is having row value 2 and this is having column value 0 for this 3 as well row value is 2 and column value is 0 so what should be the order we had followed simple dfs so we had assumed that we will make the left call first and then the right call so that is why this 7 was coming first and then 3 so what we need to do is we need to keep these elements in the same level in sorted order so here the answer should not be 7 3 but it should be 3 and then 7 so the final answer for this level 0 should be 1, 3, 7 and 8 according to this part which I have explained earlier. Okay. So these are the two important goals which you need to derive after reading the problem statement. It is pretty difficult to derive these goals. So but once you derive it the problem becomes very very simple. For the vertical line number 1 as well if you can see this is line number 1 then this is having value 6 and 5 but since we had followed simple dfs 5 was coming first and 6 was coming afterwards but the row number of this 6 is lower than the row number of this 5 so 6 should come first and then 5 so according to the level order traversal 6 should come and then 5 okay so i hope you understood what are the goals of this problem 
now you must have guessed how to solve it well if you didn't guess then try to look at this and you will definitely understand we can solve this simple problem by using two techniques so i will be explaining you the dfs technique and then we will see the idea behind solving it by bfs technique dfs and bfs both are intuitive in order to solve this problem so i will be explaining in detail the dfs approach in this case uh, what we need to do is we need to store elements based on x comma y coordinate now i have drawn the x comma y coordinate system for better understanding and i have taken the same example and i will solve it now so i have marked the row number starting from 0 to 4 and the vertical line number orderings are same 0 minus 1 and 1 now how do we store elements so that it is based on x comma y coordinate well either we need a 2d vector or we need a map of map so a map of map is more efficient since you may not be knowing what is the size of the 2d array you can take a dynamic 2d array but i have taken a map of map so the benefit of map is that it will uh, always keep its key values in sorted order sorted ascending order that is why i am using a map now initially i don't need to worry about anything i will just insert elements into the map so this will be a map these are the keys for the first map these are the keys for the second map and whatever is written in the sky blue color these ones these are the node values so let me explain how it is done first we will be starting with the root node this is having value 1 and this coordinate value will be having 0th row and 0th column so this should be put in the value that is uh, map 1 key 0 map 2 key 0 so 1 should be pushed there so 1 is pushed in map at 0 0 ok now we will make the left call and this is basically maintaining a list so that whatever value is having uh, the same x comma y coordinate they will be present in a list and the list is basically a set so what is the benefit of set set will maintain all the elements in ascending order that is in non decreasing order ok so from 1 we will make a left call this is 2 so what will be the coordinate value of this 2 it will be 1 comma minus 1 so we will go to minus 1 and 1 and here i have pushed 2 ok so first i should explain that this uh, first map is storing the y coordinate and this second map is storing the x coordinate so this is x coordinate and this one is the y coordinate so in here uh, minus 1 comma 1 will be storing this value 2 now again we will make the right call and this is having uh, the x coordinate as 2 and y coordinate as 0 so x coordinate 2 and y coordinate 0 is storing the value 7 ok now we will again make a left call this 4 is stored at uh, this row number 3 and column number minus 1 so uh, this is row number 3 and column number minus 1 so this 3 is having value 4 ok now we will backtrack to this 7 from 7 we go to 5 this is having row number 3 column number 1 so column number 1 and row number 3 so this is having value 5 now we will again make a left call this is 8 at uh, row number 4 and column number 0 so we will go to column number 0 and row number 4 so this is having value 8 i hope you understood it now we will backtrack to 5 backtrack to 7 backtrack to 2 backtrack to 1 from 1 we will go to 6 this is having row number 1 column number 1 so at 1 1 we are having 6 from there we will uh, make call to 3 so this is basically uh, row number 2 column number 0 so column number 0 row number 2 is having value 3 so uh, all the nodes have now been covered you can see that first we had pushed this 7 and then we pushed this 3 but since we are using a set uh, these elements will be sorted in non decreasing order or you can assume that it will be in ascending order ok so this is the benefit for using this set and we obviously need this map of map in order to keep track of x comma y coordinate so in this case this 3 comma 7 was having the same x comma y coordinate and this 3 was pushed after pushing this 7 but the order should be 3 and then 7 so that is why we had used this set I hope you understood the data structures and why did we make the choice of using map of map of set ok so a map of map keeps track of x comma y position and a set keeps the sorted values for the same x comma y positions so I hope you understood this DFS approach now you can also solve this by using level order traversal using BFS uh, we can use similar type of data structures I will be providing you the code for this as well 
we can use a queue as well as map of map of set in order to implement it so i hope you will implement it and the code for both these methods will be present in the description below you can check that now what will be the time complexity for the previous approach now this map is keeping everything in sorted order and this map is also doing the same thing set is also keeping everything in sorted order so in the worst case you will be having n elements so for each element each operation is log n log n log n so maps are having log n operations and a set is also having log n operation but you can see that uh, a set will be having the nodes which are having same x and y values and that will be very low for any given tree so it will be very less than log n but still i have taken this as the worst case so it will be log cube n and after that it will be multiplied with n nodes because there will be n number of operations so it will be n log cube n i hope you understood the time complexity as well let us now look at the code so this is the simple dfs code in this case we are given the root and i have called the dfs function now the dfs function is called with the x comma y coordinate so in this case uh, this will be y comma x that is column comma row i have taken in this order if the current node does not exist then we will return that is we will backtrack otherwise we will push the current node value at the correct position so we had used map of map this is map map of map of set okay so we will push the current value at the given column and at the given row we will push current value okay and after pushing the value we will make a call to the left subtree then we will make a call to the right subtree and after solving both the left and right subtrees we will just backtrack so this is a very simple dfs implementation now you can see that if you are present at some value x comma y this is our coordinate then if you make a left call then obviously you will be increasing your row number by one value and if you move to the left hand side then you will be decreasing your uh, column number by one value so this will be x plus one comma y minus one and if you are making a right call then obviously it will this will be x plus one comma y plus one so this is what is being implemented here Th these are the values which are being passed so this is a very simple dfs implementation in the order of n log cube n now this is the bfs implementation which i have done and this is running faster than the bfs implementation so you can see this code and they are very similar approaches using very similar data structures so i hope you understood the first approach that is by dfs approach and i hope you will try the second approach as well if you have any type of doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you in our next video thank you